Good morning, my beautiful internet friends, and welcome back to Taboo Tuesdays, where we talk about, uh, I forgot my tagline. Taboo Tuesdays, where we talk about, that there was another tea, I always think there's another tea, there's not another tea. Good morning, my beautiful internet friends, and welcome back to my favorite series here on Footless Show, Taboo Tuesdays, where we talk about taboo subjects and things that are difficult to talk about or people always want to ask but don't feel comfortable asking. So I say ask me, because I am more than happy to answer any question that is respectfully asked. Now, now if you don't know, I've had one video that went out to like a lot of people on the internet. About six million people have watched it. And I would say a solid 20% of the comments that I get have to do with shoes. Like the situation happened. So I have a whole wardrobe of shoes, a whole closet of shoes. What do I do with the right pairs? I try to like respond to as many people as I can, but so many people ask this question. And then last night I was hanging out with my brother and his girlfriend and he asked me, so what do you do with the other shoe? That's right, I'm calling you out, Sam. And I figured, you know what, now is the time to answer this question. Before we dive in, I would love it if you'd hit subscribe to this channel and like on this video. If you hit like, it gets out to more people. If you hit subscribe, it helps me get closer to 100,000 subscribers. Why do you care? Well, I would just consider it a personal favorite because that's a the number I'm trying to reach. I think it'd be really cool and I'm excited to get there real soon. So let's talk about shoes. I got one, one pair on. Oh wait, I don't have any use for the other side, right? That's what everyone seems to think and I totally understand where that thought is coming from. There's actually a comedian named Josh Sunquist who is freaking fantastic. I love him, he's hilarious. He's also just a really lovely person who I'd love to meet one day. Josh, if you're listening, ever in Colorado, hit me up. I met this guy through the internet who is missing his right leg. He has a left leg. We have the exact same shoe size and we collect the same types of sneakers. So now we just buy pairs and we just swap them. We just exchange. He is missing a leg of the hip and he actually has a soulmate. What is a soulmate? A soulmate is someone who has the matching foot size to you and is missing the other side of their body. Soulmate, I love that. And thus a number of people have asked me if I have a soulmate as well. No, I don't, and I'm not looking for one in either context of the word because I have found it in both contexts of that word. Uh, I am my own soulmate when it comes to shoes, and I've found my other soulmate when it comes to Brian. <laughs> yeah, jokes are not my forte. Here's the situation, and if you have figured it out by now, comment below in the comment section. It is not my intention to be missing a leg for the rest of my life. Like, this, this situation is hopefully just temporary. We're hoping that this will eventually become a part of my life, and if this was the case, oh, we suddenly need two shoes again. So where have all my other pairs of shoes been this entire time, the last eight months? They've just been sitting in the garage. Now, one actual problem that I'm wondering about is that like, obviously this shoe is getting a lot of wear, whereas this shoe has literally never been worn. You can actually very clearly see the distinction. First off, this is like all nice and like still the way that shoes are shaped. This is like all squishy and, and dirty. All right, guessing game. On the count of three, which one do you think is the shoe I haven't worn? One, two, three. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty easy to tell which one is worn and which one is not. You can even tell from looking at this side of it. I mean, this is obviously the one that I've been wearing. This is still like a pretty amethyst purple and this one's got a, a dirt tinge to it. So when it comes to like walking running shoes, I'm wondering if like the tread's gonna be all worn off on one side or the other side's gonna be perfect and I'm just gonna have to buy new shoes anyways. That is yet to be determined. In any case, my shoes are just biding their time until this puppy becomes a part of my daily routine and body. When is that gonna happen? Well, my lovely internet friends, I have no clue. Maybe one day. Fingers crossed by the end of this year. We'll see though. I'll probably just have to uh, buy new shoes by that point. For the most part, my shoes are just biding their time until this buddy becomes part of my life permanently. Uh, for the time being, I am just gonna be wearing out the left shoes that I have and the right ones are gonna be nice and pretty and shining in my closet. A huge thank you goes out to all of my patrons. You guys make it so I can, you know, buy new pairs of shoes and really continue to work on this channel. So thank you guys so much for your support. Today's patron of the day is Leon Himes. Leon, first of all, cool name. I really like your name. And secondly, thank you so much for your support. It means the world to me. Thank you guys for listening. I truly appreciate it. Tune in next week, next Tuesday, for the next installment of Taboo Tuesdays where I will definitely forget the title or tagline yet again because that's happened in like every video so far. Yeah. Yeah, I'm working on it. I love you guys. I'm thinking of you, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Have you heard from the sky? Hold them by.